Now to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where a hunger strike amongst detainees at the facility continues to spread. U.S. Army officials report that now 100 of 166 prisoners on the island are on a hunger strike in protest of their indefinite detention. Lawyers of the detainees say the number is actually closer to 130 detainees. The hunger strike has been growing on an almost daily basis, and prison officials now say 21 individuals are being force-fed through nose tubes. Now, during a press conference today, U.S. President Barack Obama said that he doesn't want these individuals to die and that the civilian court system would be the best approach to trying the suspected terrorists. President Barack Obama vowed to close Guantanamo during his campaign in 2009, but to no avail. Today, President Obama pledged again to push Congress to close the detention center. I continue to believe that we've got to close Guantanamo. Uh, I think, well, uh, you know, I, I think it is critical for us to understand that Guantanamo is not necessary to keep America safe. It is expensive. It is inefficient. It uh, hurts us in terms of our international standing. It lessens cooperation with our allies on counterterrorism efforts. It is a recruitment tool for extremists. It needs to be closed. And President Obama is getting some help. A petition filed by Colonel Morris Davis, who is a frequent guest on this program, says that the patriotic and American thing to do would be to close the detention facility. It's one of the many online petitions calling for Gitmo's closure. We'll keep you posted on whether the hunger strike uh, petition or presidential action will result in any changes at the facility.